哈喽，哎，小心，小心点了啦，嗯嗯，呀呀呀，呀哈喽哈喽，啊。OK， 呃、uh, ，南和上两位哈， huh? <笑>三个三个，过来过来，就是你们几位和尚的，哎，东西 OK， 我叫他们买的，打开看看一个一样的话，打开看看，给他们看看，哎，那个是给他们一包一包拿走的，一样的哈，真的吗？不过不应该一样的，那大和尚他们那个拖鞋比较大啊，<笑>哪一个比较大的？不是都一样 size？ 哦、oh, ，OK OK OK， 好吧好吧，都是一样颜色，不是吧<笑> ？Sorry guys， no need， 呃、oh, ，relax， no need， 一样啊，差不多哈、啊。啊，那个那个 ，OK OK OK， 拿给我看就好了。我看一下好了啊 ，OK， 哇，还好吧？放在他们后面，等一下，看看哪一个适当就转，不适当不转 ，OK。<笑>对不起啦，他们台湾人应该知道和尚是转什么东西呀、啊？啊，中国人不可能说不知道了。越南人也不能说不知道和尚是赚什么的，颜色那深一点、差一点是还可以，就是这个是是颜色用的，啊，你们拿出来哪个能用就用，不能用还给他们好吗？哎，对不起了，帮忙一下，我一个人真忙不过来，我刚才讲早一点过来，而是要为最后那个电话、啊、最后那个文件呢、啊。就挡掉了 ，OK， 挡了一点，一点时间了啊！一个文件不是这样牵着走，不是啊，那那联系很多东西，要看看对不对等等 ，OK。How many of you are Westerners? Come here and sit around me. Come here. You don't see me often. Come around, sit in front here, in front there, and in front here. OK. And when I walk, I walk on your shoulders. <laughs> you carry me. There's some more here. <laughs> Just joking, my God. You guys can't take a joke. <laughs> yeah, you see, I have to be like a general, general of、uh, of the army or something. Oh yeah. OK， 呀、yeah, ，帮忙处理一下，我真的太忙了。OK 啦 ，Do you understand what it means by losing words? Every little thing makes me lose face. Yeah, make me yell, make me angry. It's just provoking like that because of the loss of words. And even if the protectors are standing around, even if the angels are around, they cannot do anything. 
The losing of wealth made people slander Buddha. The losing of wealth made people crucify Jesus. The losing of wealth made people persecute Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for example, or not listening to Guru Nanak or Krishna or whomever in our history of spiritual hierarchy. Do you understand now why the Master has to suffer? Because he has many disciples. The more disciples he has, the less worthy he becomes in the spiritual domain, meaning other gods cannot help, angels cannot do anything. He's a la merci of whatever world he stays in. And if it's too much, then of course the Master has to be maybe, you know, crucified like Jesus Christ or Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for example. If not, then they will be slandering him or her or doing anything at all, just every day provoking trouble. So that the Master looks very bad, loses his face looks like an ordinary person, gets angry, yells, there's no, no respectful type of behavior. These are some of the small examples that you can see. Uh, otherwise, you don't know what it means by losing worth. Otherwise, why do you think the Son of God, Jesus Christ, so mighty, Son of God, had been harassed, chased, hunted, until finally they kill him in such a way, which is worse than a criminal. They even forgave one of the criminals at that time, and instead they crucified Jesus in his place. So in case you want to be a master of any kind, please think again or be prepared. Anything you see, it's just a tip of the iceberg. They are more internal and even external that you have no chance to see not at all had any chance to be near the Master at that time or those times to, to witness. Yeah, okay? This is just almost <laughs> zero. Uh, in the kitchen or upstairs on the fourth floor before, this are all just very small things that you could even see. Mostly you're not with me. You don't understand. All this is because of the loss of worth, temporarily. But then another batch of disciples comes, and another batch of outsiders comes. Or the Master has to do something for the world, then losing worth again. It's not like it ever can be regained so quickly, or keep it. Except if you don't have disciples anymore, or you don't see them, then it may be less. Less doesn't mean none. <laughs> it's not only that. For example, if I stay in Europe, other Asian countries will, you know, wish in their hearts to get together, pray that Master comes back to Asia. And when I come back to Asia, oh, don't just leave me alone. It's easy to come and go to see me. And, oh, wishing that I go to Vietnam, wishing I go to China instead. Just because I speak Vietnamese and my body was born there, they think I'm Vietnamese and they want me there like a possession just for the country to be more prosperous or blessed in some way, just for Vietnam. And then all the Chinese people want me to be there. And because of all this mismatch and selfish wishes, I cannot always stay anywhere stably and safely just to take care of you. To keep moving all the time exhausts me and waste a lot of my time. I want you to change your mindset. Just whatever you wish, wish for me to be alive, at least so that you can come to see me wherever I am. That's the only thing you should wish for. Don't drag me here, pull me there, push me for, and drag me back. Oh, it's terrible for me every day to have to deal with all this kind of conflicting energy. I have dogs, eh? and I have a lot of things. I have to move. If I move, I have to move a lot. And then I have Supreme Master television staff, many things I have to take care of, and business also. So please, please, 
cut it out. Sometimes it's so much conflicting energy against each other. I just want to leave. I just want to go. Disappear. Disappear completely. And then you won't see me anymore. No matter where. <laughs> Taiwan or Europe or wherever. Oh, I will keep changing my place so that you cannot keep wanting this and that or possessing me in a different country. If my destiny is to be in Taiwan, then I stay in Taiwan. You don't force the issue. You don't give me so much pressure just because you think I'm Vietnamese or I'm Chinese or even I'm an ex-Mongolian or ex-Korean king or whatever. That's the past. Maybe the body I borrow was from Vietnam, but by no means do I belong to the Vietnamese people. That is too square, okay? Too small, too un-zen, yeah? Too, <laughs> too <laughs> un-practitioners of higher altitude. If you want to really liberate yourself, and even your families, your generations, your country, just practice hard, sincerely, for the sake of yourself and for all beings. Do you see I treat my family specially in any way ever? Yes? Even my family members. Of course, I wanted them to sit here, but they say, never mind, we are also disciples. We will sit down there. My sister and niece and nephew, they never want anything special. Did you ever see them, me sitting them right in front of me uh, at your expense? Yes or no? Ever? No. no. And even last time I could not come out to see you for some, some sad event I didn't want to tell you about. They came with you and they went home like you. I did not call them to my house or my special place or send a special driver to come and get them to see me specially just because they are my so-called family members. Did you see anything like that? No. no. And I don't take all my hard-earned money to give to them so they have a flashy car or, you know, better houses, nothing. I bought one house for my parents. That is for sure I did. It was not much, you know, in Vietnam at that time, 30 years ago, very cheap, and has like four levels. Yes. And then uh, my brother-in-law wanted to buy another new house for his daughter, and I said, no, you stay together. That's a inheritance from my parents. You should treasure it, and you should stay together to help each other. It's easier when you live together, it's easy to help each other. Do not just divide it. You know, many people have no house, yeah? Not even a tent or a roof over their heads. Many refugees have nothing with them when they run, just their lives, even if they can keep it. You know what the world is like, right? Why don't you compare to the lower income people or the less fortunate people? Why keep comparing to the higher up? Huh? You say you want to follow me, you learn from me, you learn nothing. Huh? You complain about water, about toilets, about everything. I complain about water just because it's dirty, unhygienic for me, and I am not young anymore just to take anything. I protect my body for you because I know you want me alive. Oh, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's for sure. I tell you truly, honest to God and all the angels around here, that if I die right now, I have no regrets. I don't care about this life to hang on to it. The more I live, the longer I suffer, that's all. Is this very clear to you, or? Yes. Mm. I truly live for you, for the world, for the animals, for all beings that suffer, that I have not enough chance and time to save. I want to live long, longer, as long as possible, until the world is all peaceful and loving and kind to one another. Then I don't care where I go, whatever they do to me, however the karma, you know, treats me. Right now I have to take good care. Mm -hmm. That's all. 
And now they want to change my water to the tap water, you know, meaning the community water from the government. Uh, they said, it's safer to drink. I said, no, it's okay. Before it wasn't filtered. So I say I asked for a filter, that's all. Now it's filter already. Why change now? And now even in retreat, if I survive until now, I continue to survive. And the water is okay for me, you know. I consider that very good. I'm lucky already. Mm -hmm.